Also, our first Aries. Remember when I said like there were like cows around here? This is what I was talking about. They're not cows entirely. They're more like reindeer, but still. Well, that is not what I meant to do. But I will deal with it nonetheless. Um, I was thinking of Zane uh, during one of the... Uh, optional parts. They said they were going on out here for an adventure and there was going to be no food. And I'm like, I don't know, can't you kill one of these things for it? But that is one of the uh, Aries down. They've got horns that I refined. So nice of me to do that. Now, uh, there is an area up here, as you can see. The Chilkin are, are guarding it, so it must be important for something. Uh, this is a geyser. That is what that water is going up. Uh, should, yeah, eventually it stops. Uh, that will be important for later. Uh, do I actually want to go north this way? I th yeah, I, I do want to go north this way. Uh, we're going to avoid the geyser for the time being. Shouldn't I get a location for it? There we go. Oh, I should probably check the, uh, the skills again just to be on the safe side. Make sure nobody's learning anything all the way. As you can see, we're very close to learning that for Shulk, so. All right, we do want to change Ryan over to Reckless Courage. Strength up buff at start of battle with higher level enemies. We just learned uh, feel the heat increases tension when damage is taken. We're getting close to maxing out Ryan there. We'll have to get him a fourth branch at some point. All right, uh, wait, did Melia learn something? Look like Melia is... Yeah, Melia learned something. She's still working on it, though. Uh, improves block rate. The palace guard has been learned. Uh, heavyweight expert. Improves ether defense the more heavy equipment is worn. Uh, that is something that is much more useful as a link as opposed to uh, having that on Melia herself because I rarely give her heavy equipment. She can't even wear it yet, uh, but uh, that, is, that is the case with her. So, we're moving forward. Yeah, we can go down here. It's fine. Uh, so we got Jacked Geyser. That'll be important for something later. No, I, that's not what I meant. I meant to look for monsters. Like uh, another Tomazek and so that aggro's on me. Alright, come on. Let's take it on. Let's try to take it on a little bit quickly. Yeah, this, uh, this mountain is huge, as you might expect from something named Mountain. Salt Roasted Bird, not something that I care about. Alright, let's keep on going. Amethyst Vanilla. <laughs> so weird. Hey, no, that's still not the thing that I care about. I keep on thinking because it's a flower. It's the thing that, that Dunban hates, but that is not the case. Alright, one more Ansel to take on before we reach our destination here. Which is inside there. Neat little area. This. Whole area. I, I do enjoy this area. Possibly more than I should because there's some aggravating parts to this area. But I, I do really like this area nonetheless. And we learned another skill anti air battering? Hey, and an Ansel fish pie. I believe that will be useful. Uh, what is this that I got? I just killed another enough air enemies. 250? That's it? I only killed 250 aerial monsters? Felt like I killed a lot more than that. I killed so many of those. I guess 250 exactly, but felt like more. And yeah, we'll leave you alone. We're just gonna go for... Our destination here, it is inside this cave. It's probably the best way to put it. It is inside here, though. This is the sealed tower. Oh, we learned a skill, too. Shouldn't I change that over, speaking of which? Uh, what did we learn? We did learn uh, Forest Mercy reduces aggro when damage is taken. So let's work on the Fever Pitch, which was not a good movie. But we'll learn that because it's better than the Burst Affinity. I do care about the gym crafting. I do want to take care of that. We will soon. But for the time being, we are going to head to the Herrick Chapel. 
Where is the actual marker here? I think, oh, over here. Ruins. I wonder who built them. Elvis? This the place you meant? Hmm. It appears to have frozen over while I have been away. Been away? Pay me no mind. We will need to do something about the ice before we can enter. Throw hot water on ice! Yeah, nice one, genius. Precisely. There should be a geezer nearby. In the cave next to it, we will find a stone called Magma Rock. And we can use this rock to melt the ice. I believe so. So, shall we head to the cave? Sounds good. Start looking for a geezer, everyone. I forget that 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 they pronounce it geezer over in uh, England. I, we, we call it a geyser. Uh, but we got a new quest, the Magma Rock. It's a story quest. The door to the tower that Alvis spoke of is covered in ice. You could melt it with a Magma Rock, which is found near a geezer, in a cave on Valak Mountain. Collect a Magma Rock from a cave near a geezer. I'm going to call it a geyser from this point forward. <laughs> That's how I've always known to say it. Anyway... Uh, we found the guys are on the way here. Uh, it is kind of difficult to miss. Uh, I'm, I'm missing the exit here. It's been a while since I've been here. Ah, here it is. Very small little exit here. Uh, but there is a way you can get here without finding the geyser. It's just a longer path. So I would recommend this way. It is still night. Those guys are still around. We're still going to avoid them. I would like to see where I'm going. Thank you. I do have to change the camera around a lot around here, up and down, uh, depending on which direction I am traveling. But we are going to head to, well, kind of a hot spring magma area. There's apparently magma inside of the Bionis. Uh, Hista Ares? Is this the same Ares we took on? We'll take on a couple more Ares. Good for food. People of Alchemy. Right. Anybody want to topple him? Topple him! Topple! Why isn't he topping? Alright, he brought his friend. Wow, that was slow. No, we're not doing a chain attack on the, the Ares. Did, I, I don't think I hit him at all. I think I missed entirely because he like knocked me over and then went somewhere else. Doesn't matter. These guys are not too difficult. But we can get some horns off of them. Yeah, that's all we get, unfortunately. But over here we can find more. The Aries, they're relatively common around here. Ether plum ruby mangosteen. Uh mangosteen, I believe No. I'm thinking of something else. Mangosteen is a fruit. Um I want to say it's an aubergine. Uh there there is a collectible in this game that has a name that's not familiar to Americans because we don't we don't call it that, uh, but it's an eggplant. And I think it's aubergine. But in case we find one, that, that's what that is. Mangosteen, though, that's a fruit. That one I know. All right, into the magma cave we go. Not my favorite area of Valak Mountain, this place. Uh, mostly because of what spawns here later. But we have found the lava cave. Apparently it's reached the surface. We can find some Sierra Vangs around here. These guys aren't going to be too difficult for us. There are a few veins that are difficult for us, but these are, these are not it. Salt roasted bird. Lots of uh, salt roasted birds around here, which is a little weird considering you would assume that that would re require, you know, sentient handling. But maybe not. And there's some hawks around here. Porky hawks, which makes them sound like uh, porcupine. Yeah, not difficult these guys. Any other kind of hawks around here? Just porkies. I think it's just porkies. All right, let's head over here. Get ourselves some fire crystals. They are pretty, which is definitely a level that I care about. 
eventually. We'll get there. Uh, is this a dead end? Might be a dead end. All right, back up here. We need to go east, where we can find some Ukan Nebula. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. Okay. Do they have anything that I care about here? They do not. I have cared about Nebula in the past, but not these. Okay, let's go for that. Followed by a Blossom Dance. We choose to fight. Not as strong as I was hoping for, but we still have a headshot to go through. Not as strong as I wanted either. Are you kidding me? I have so much, so much affinity between the, the three of you. You guys couldn't pull it off. All right, more Sierra Vangs. We'll leave them alone. What I care about is way over here. Also, a Noto Ferris, our next level of Ferris. Hey, a rat, wet rat. Just what I always wanted. You gotta ask yourself sometimes, like, why, why am I supposed to care about this? And I saw a Ferris just run off there. Hey. Oh, down you go. Let's stay alert. And a refined horn. Now, if we make it to the end here, we can find the magma rock that we are looking for. Also, one of the Noto Ferris, but I don't care about that one since I killed one. Anybody else getting Final Fantasy VIII flashbacks here? It's the first dungeon there. And you're damn right, something spawned on us. Conflagrant Raxial. Did I pick that up? I did. All right, let's take him on. The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. And he's gonna aggro on us no matter what. Let's try not to stand in the lava. I've kind of made that one of my life goals to never stand in lava, and I would rather not fail it right now. You know, just do whatever. Purge. Yeah, purge, why not? Yeah, stay stay out of the fire. That's a good general rule for any kind of MMO style game. Don't don't stand in the fire. There we got him. And we get Magma Rock off of him! Um, jeez. Come on. Come on! Get the damn treasure chest! <laughs> a Lexos Dragon Elixir, Pretty Lexos Crystal, and a Spirit Rifle for our trouble. Also, really, don't stand in the lava! <laughs> I, I had to to get that, but... Really, just don't stand in the lava. Alright, so, uh, that's not too difficult but I believe that as soon as I come back here uh, the next time I come back there will be a much tougher enemy that spawns in that area so don't go over there pretty much ever again <laughs> I think it's level 90 something so definitely something to avoid um, I don't actually have a note on that one so but either way I don't want to go there again if memory serves me correctly. So we're, we're ready to go. We got the Magma Rock. Was not too far to get. We were pretty close to Herrick Chapel here. How convenient for us. But back out to the cold. And if we were ever to get like a flu or a cold or something like that, it would be going from Lava Cave back into the regular Valak Mountain. That's going to do it for you temperature change like that is never good for the immune system. Costa Aries, I think that was the one that I originally took on, the Costa. There are different Aries depending on the day. I don't know why, but there are. There always seems to be kind of a, a day version of an enemy and a night version of an enemy here in Valak Mountain. So there's the Atomus Ansel. 
That is not the one that we took on before. That was the Atomus Zek Ansel. So we'll take on the Atomus Ansel. We get ourselves like Flying Enemy 252. Felt like I've taken on so many. Oh, so close. Probably not going to be anything good. Salt Roasted Bird. How are they roasting it? Do they take it over to Lava Cave? Maybe the Chill can do it. They seem to have some kind of society. Do they roast birds? Probably not. Maybe that's the difference between what is considered sentient life on Bionist and non-sentient life on Bionist. Whether they can salt roast a bird. Either way though, we are going to head back toward Herrick Chapel through the sealed tower now that we have the magma rock should be quite good for us here should be able to melt this in a heartbeat if not we might have to call on a black mage but that might be a different game hey worked like a charm and we have completed the magma rock you melted the ice covering the door no reward for that unfortunately but it's the story quest that's what you expect The letters are worn and difficult to make out, but it's definitely the language of the High End here. They look just like the lettering on Prison Island. If only we could. Just walk inside. This place. Something up, Shulk? No, it's just... I feel like I know this place. Deja vu. I'm not sure, but... I thought I had it. I can't seem to recall. Are you all right? What? Must be tired. Don't worry. This is Ose Tower. Built by the High Entia to house and protect the Monado. The Ceremony of Seers was conducted here. It is also where the Homs found the Monado. Wait, you mean... So this is where the Monado was kept. My dad took it from here. Have you always been able to see the future? You told me you were from a long line of seers. Did you have the ability from birth? Once, I too came into contact with the Monado. Huh. Those that are to be seers must touch the Monado. And a chosen few receive our power. That is the ceremony of my family. And the ceremony was held right here. Shulk, why do you think we can see the future? I hadn't really thought about it. After I grabbed the Monado, I just saw things. Your visions are the flow of ether itself. Ether is the very source of our world's existence. Where and how much ether there exists now and in the future can be predicted. Therefore, in principle, the future of living beings such as us can also be predicted. And there is one thing that makes possible the visualization of those predictions. You mean... the Monado? 
The Monado can disrupt the ether, allowing you to release certain powers. Which means... My visions, under the same principle, are there to disrupt the future. With no one to control the outcome, the future will never change. But what if someone were to disrupt the future? What then? The future would be changed. Is that how Zanza planned to defeat the Mechonis? But why go to such lengths? What happened all those years ago? Did you think it was just a myth? I used to only believe in what I could see. My home, my friends, the Monado itself. I knew those things were real. But when you took the Monado in your hand, you gained the ability to see that which was not meant to be seen. Are you saying I should stop? You are... a fluctuation. As a fluctuation, you exist outside the results of your predictions. The more you accept this existence, the more malleable the world becomes. In fact, you have no choice but to accept it. Good morning. Did we sleep well? Oh, I can't feel my face or feet. What do you think? Rain not tell truth. Rain snoring make Ricky think of Orluka. Oi, I don't snore. <laughs> Sword Valley is just around the corner. <laughs>